all right good afternoon well maybe morning or evening wherever you're watching us from um here at panuga farms it's actually uh good afternoon uh so we are in the uh strawberry <clears throat> uh, field this one is under shed net we we have uh you know production of uh strawberries under two um you know methods if you like uh one is under shed net uh, which is where we are here and uh, the other one is uh, just in open field um, we've actually seen quite a huge you know difference in just the productivity of uh, the two you know fields the one under shed net um, has actually performed quite exceptionally very well uh, we have more fruiting um, and also quite some very big fruits. Um, also, the vegetative growth is actually also quite excellent. So, um, different farmers may have different, uh, you know, experiences. But I think we have uh, quite a good testimony um, given that we have the opportunity to compare uh, two production methods, i.e., in the open field and uh, under uh, shed net. Doesn't necessarily need to be a greenhouse. This is just some, you know, 40, 50 percent chip um, net that we used. But I think it's it's done the trick. Um, and for us at Panuka, I think going forward, this is the way to produce um, or farm, you know, strawberries. And again, these things, if you watch on YouTube and the like, you need to be very mindful of the fact that um, we farm under different uh, environments and climates. Uh, here in Africa, Zambia to be specific, in Lusaka here where our farm is, it's quite relatively hot. Uh, and so, you know, you need to take that into account uh, when, you know, farming uh, strawberries. So you can actually see the kind of fruits that are emerging here in the um, shed net. Quite excellent by any standards. Um, we're pretty happy with the, um, the the fruiting. These strawberries are not 100% um, organic, so we, we, we wouldn't want to cheat that they're 100% organic. But we've not applied any granular fertilizers in, in here. Mainly... We only put um, you know, cow dung, uh, manure um, underneath before we planted and then supplemented with a few uh, foliars. But um, these strawberries are off you know, granular uh, fertilizers. Um, so not 100% organic, but not quite there. Yeah, and we've seen, you know, the productivity has been quite, quite excellent, uh, even under um you know this this arrangement so these strawberries are in the year one uh this is alinta um you know variety i think it's originally an australian uh you know uh, variety um but it's, it's doing quite quite well here so these are in the year one we planted them in in january so they're roughly about seven months old uh, in another video we'll be able to show you the strawberries that we are producing um, in the open field which are in the year two um, but you will note the difference in terms of just um, the fruit quality fruit size and also the difference in the uh, vegetation yeah so we just thought we'd give you this uh, a glimpse and a few uh, tidbits um, it's good to watch things on YouTube but take note that uh, you know the context in terms of uh, climate differs um, we actually tried something here where we um, put a plastic mulch we almost messed up um, until we actually realized that we were losing the crop because it's, it's quite too hot um, here in, 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 in Lusaka Zambia and so, you know, the plastic mulch that we see, you know, in people are putting, 
uh, in some of these other countries and, and, and the like. We tried copying that, but then <laughs> we almost you know, shot ourselves in the foot. Um, so we had to learn the hard way. Um, but um, I guess you can actually learn from us. All right, so we just thought we'd give you those um, quick tidbits on uh, strawberry production. Uh, here in Zambia, I think there's been a myth that uh, production of uh, you know strawberries can't you know happen in in Zambia because traditionally I think we've been uh, importing most of the strawberries. But um, I think here's a testimony that it can actually happen. So for those that would want to jump in, jump in, but be ready uh, because it's not the easiest of crops. You need to have a lot of patience uh, and uh, also uh, sharpen your management you know uh you know skills so that's it folks uh from panuka farms like we said it's a beautiful afternoon from here but you probably may be watching us uh, in the evening in the morning and different uh, you know context of the world thank you so much and uh, have a lovely one